Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, I was looking at my uh, verses today in scriptures, and I was reading from James 1, 2. Um, count it all joy uh, when you go through all sorts of trials and temptations, tribulations. Um, it doesn't mean we have to be happy when we're going through. I know I've been uh, had a lot of challenges lately. Um, you know, different things happening within the family, within uh, uh, our close family, and then also in general. Uh, we're dealing with a lot of, of uprisings and, and controversies within our society. Um, but even in the middle of that, good things are happening, um, even in our family. And, and we have to realize that God is always in control. Uh, for those who follow him, uh, we know that Romans 8.20 says all things will work for good uh, as long as we're following the will of God. And we have to live in that. We, we can't let certain things get us off kilter, if you would. We can't allow... Um, things that happen in, right in front of us, things that uh, occur, we can't allow that to, uh, you know, destroy our, our testimony. We can't allow that to affect who we are on the inside. Who we are on the inside has to come out on the outside, because in a watching world, in a, in a needy world, people need to see Christians when things are going wrong. Uh, it's great to say, you know, God bless you, God is good, and all this when things are going well. Uh, anybody can say that. But when we're faced with trials and temptations, is God still good in our everyday activity? Can people sense that God is still good in our lives? Are we still, you know, uh, enjoying our relationship with Christ? Uh, I, I look at Job and with all the things that happened to Job, um, the, the most amazing thing I, I get from reading Job is that when he lost his family, his property, his health, he fell on his knees and worshipped God. I don't know if I can do that, um, but I want to. Um, now, when I recently went through some struggles and some challenges within my family, um, I, I, I purposely tried to stay calm, tried to stay in control, uh, tried to stay um, you know, cool about everything and not get upset, not get worried, not lose it, right? Uh, because those around me, you know, my wife, my children, needed to see that strength of God, needed to see that strength of the Holy Spirit that everything is in control, that God has everything in control. Inside, I was a mess, uh, but I purposed in my heart to, on the outside to be, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to react. This is, you know, things are going to happen. So let's do this, and let's allow God to have his way. And um, it worked. It worked. Uh, things went well. Um, even though we're still going through a little bit, God is still good. He's still on the throne. He's still God, and we still trust him. We love him. And, and we pray that um, you can be encouraged uh, by the, the strength of God when you're weak. Paul would say, when, when I'm weak, then he's strong. Um, I know there's a song out there that says, you know, take me through the fire, try me like gold. That's a hard prayer to pray, but that's what God wants. He wants to try us so that in the end, we have a testimony. Without a test, there's no testimony. So when God gives us tests, let's be strong. Let's trust him in the middle of it all like Daniel's friends did, you know, in the fire. And we come out, as we said before, we, we come out. People can't even tell there's, that we've been in a fire. All they see is the joy of the Lord in our hearts and in our, in our, uh, in, in our personalities and things. So be encouraged this weekend. Hope, to, hope you go to church on Sunday. Um, part of being a living sacrifice is being in church and getting up, sacrificing our bodies to get to church, to worship together, pray together, to encourage one another, and to let others who are struggling see that we're there. Despite the circumstances, we are there. We're honoring God. We're praising God. And we're grateful for our relationship with Christ. So God bless you all. Talk to you soon.